the story tonight. What is happening in Inkster? Neighbors on edge right now after the city records its fourth homicide in just one week. Thanks everybody for joining us. I'm Karen Drew in for Kimberly Gill. And I'm Demond Fernandez in for Devin Skilly. And those four homicides happen across the city with a population of just 25,000 people. And state police are assisting in this investigation. Sean Lay is live for us tonight. Sean, is there any word if these incidents could be connected? Demond, we were looking into that ever since these broke last week and then over the weekend. You're right, four homicides in a little under a week in Inkster. People are very concerned. And right now, sources are telling us they are not connected, but people are very concerned about what's happening in Inkster tonight. As long as I stay clear of the problems, they don't come to me. There is nothing more important to Shantanique Jones than the safety of her babies. I don't let them out of my sight. I don't let them go too far. When, it, Like I said, when it gets dark, we go inside. Jones says that is her rule. At night, she and her family are inside. Too much these days is happening outside. Right up the street from where Jones lives over the weekend, a double homicide. A man and woman found shot to death in a car here along Michigan Avenue and Middle Belt. There is a dramatic uptick in violence in Inkster that started one week ago. A man shot and killed last Tuesday here on Shadow Lawn at Patterson, resulting in a wild police pursuit of the people police say were responsible for the shooting. The very next day, a man's body discovered in a field at the end of Princeton in Inkster. That's four homicides in less than one week. People in Inkster want to know what is going on. I already, but me being a female, I already don't like walking out by myself in the dark. So especially with everything going on and, you know, things like that, I just tend to keep to myself and keep my kids in the house. We've been in Inkster last week and again today. It's the same sentiment we're hearing. People are very concerned about what's happening there. The first three victims are men. One is a woman. Again, sources are telling us they do not believe these are connected, but concerns certainly raised there tonight. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. All right, Sean, thanks for that update.